Hey guys, it's announcements. As you can tell, I um, am super dressed up today. At least Ashley got out of her pajamas. Uh, Chloe looks nice. So you're going to see us in various states over announcements time, but we're going to keep it real for you guys. All right. Hey, PRE Stallions, how are you? It's Wednesday, March 18th, and we're glad you're tuning in. So we have some birthdays to celebrate. I might have missed a few because I don't have all that information here at the house. So if I miss your birthday, please let me know so we can give you a shout out here on announcements. Um, and also, please be kind. If we're bad at last names, we're trying our best. We don't have Debbie and Nora back here to ask about pronunciations. So we'll do our best. All right. Um, and here's our first shout out. Yesterday... Clarissa Sana and Cooper Markham. Markham will celebrate it. Celebrate it. Happy birthday. And they have lucky St. Patrick's Day birthdays. Woohoo! All right, tomorrow we have Paisley Cummings and Marcus Johnson who will celebrate their birthdays. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. All right, it's day two of our spurch, sp ugh, wow, our virtual spirit week. Um, today, remember to take a picture of yourself reading a good book. We would love to see you reading those books in all kinds of fun places. Yesterday, somebody sent me a picture of them reading in a fort, which looked like fun, right? Yeah, cool stuff. So don't forget to post those pictures um, to the district Facebook page, Weld re 5 j and send them to me so I can put you on here. Um, oh, yesterday we went on our shamrock hunt. It was, really it fun. was a lot of fun. There were a lot of shamrocks out there. Yeah. So I have a few pictures of people who were out and about also looking for those shamrocks, which was a fun challenge. Um, and also some pictures of people just celebrating St. Patrick's Day, which was kind of fun. Also, Mr. Sassano got a cool idea from a friend yesterday, and I'd like to share it with all of you. Um, it kind of goes along with our shamrock theme. It's a hunt for a couple different days while we're out on this extended break. Um, it's just another fun way to get out of the house, uh, get some fresh air, and you have a challenge while you're doing it. Yeah. Yay. Can't go wrong, right, no. ladies? Okay. Yeah, no, no, you can't. All right. All right, I'm going to hand it over to Chloe, who I'm going to help probably just a little bit. Check out the Puri kids. kids and teachers learning and having fun. So here's some pictures from us to you. Mrs. Lovesack, one of our third grade teachers, has a great idea. 
How about a daily question where we can all research and find some more information about? We, we will give you questions for the third through fifth graders and, um, and one for you kindergarten through, sec kindergarten through second graders. Um, send us your answers and we'll feature them on the announcements. Here are your first questions. For third through fifth grade, who was a great inventor? Leonardo da Vinci or Da Vinci. Da da Vinci. <laughs> Sorry. Leonardo da Vinci or Thomas Edison and what did they invent? Hmm. Hmm. For K through second grade, who would win? A polar bear or a tiger? Why? I don't know. Who? I know. Oh no. Oh, sorry. Take a video of yourself answering these questions and give us your reasons and give us your reasons why so we can feature you on the announcements. All right. Here are a few messages from your teachers. Hey, I was just over at PRE where I picked up Chloe's iPad. I'll show you. It was kind of nice to do. Oh, yes. Here is the iPad. Number 17, and that's my birthday. <laughs> so it was kind of nice to have Chloe's actual iPad so I could have some of those apps that I know that they use in the classroom. Um, and that was kind of fun, and Chloe was really excited to have it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I want to give a shout-out to PRE staff, and um, they had that streamlined. It was wonderful. They had smiles on their faces. I waited maybe five minutes, and it was so nice to see the people that I work with every day, and I'm sure that your kiddos would love to see Mrs. Kramer and all of those teachers. So if you are um, in the need of an iPad for your kindergarten through um, third, third grade students, they are continuing to do the pickup at PRE. Um, that started at, let's see, what time did they start today? Oh, eight and it ends at noon, and then they're gonna do it again tomorrow. So. You haven't missed out. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, people. Thank you, Chloe. Um, so it'll be tomorrow from 12 to 5. It's perfect. It's a drive-through. Um, the teachers come out and ask you who you are and who's your kid and what class you're in. Um, if you haven't signed the form, I know they have those on hand. So go and do it. It's a great um, idea. And again, shout out to PRE. You guys rock. Thank you, teachers. Get off. Parents, if you're interested in picking up a free breakfast and lunch for your children ages through 1 and 18 um, during this time, please go to Millican Elementary School. Uh, please go to Millican Elementary School from 11 to 12 each day. It's simple. Just drive up and they deliver it to you, just kind of like PRE did with the iPads. Um, please remember that this service will not be available during the week, March 30th through April 4th. Perfect. Hey guys, your teachers are missing you. Um, I bet you might be missing them too, and especially that your friends. So I just wanna do a quick reminder that we are thinking of you. Um, parents, remember that teachers are going to be calling you for um, parent-teacher conferences this spring. Um, and they have, are sending out emails about how they will contact you and when they will contact you. So please, please, please make sure you um, are aware of what your child's teacher is doing. So, and again, if you have questions, please, please, please email them. We are here. We hear you. We want to help out. All right. Thank you. Um, hey, the other thing is I am loving all the pictures I'm getting on my email every day. This is awesome. Keep so them nice. coming. Yeah, they are. Um, it's fun to see how you're working at home, what you're doing for fun, how you're getting out and about and still socially distancing yourself. <laughs> um, keep those pictures coming. Don't, don't forget parents to check that email. There are just, I know it feels like bombardment sometimes there, but there are just constant um, think pieces of information that we want to get out to you. Um, I know Mrs. Arnold and the school district sent out a cool email yesterday. Um, had some really great links in there. Uh, the document I think was called, I don't think I know, it was titled Family Learning Resources. Um, I checked it out. There's great stuff that I know I'm going to implement today. 
but parents don't feel overwhelmed. Remember, you don't have to do it all, right? So if you have super big questions, please, please, please contact your teacher so we can help you out. We don't want you to feel frustration. We don't want them to feel frustrated. Um, I know we tried an app yesterday that made me want to pull my hair out. <laughs> anyway, please, please, please reach out to us. Let us know how we can help you. Check out those links. Um, we're here to support you. So, there you go. Um, That's it for today's edition of our extended break announcements. Um, tune in regularly for, regularly for your news and morning announcements. Remember okay. to... Wash your hands. Take care of yourself. What? And stay healthy. And here's Chloe's favorite part of the announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thanks, guys. See you later.